Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Rajesh and I'm back with another video. This will be a very interesting video as you wanted to know should you buy 11700K, should you buy 5800X or should you buy 12700K which is a killer among these three. So let's talk about the 5800X first. This is a 8 core and 16 thread processor. It is a decent processor if you wish to do editing, if you wish to do gaming, if you wish to do streaming. So this is a 10 on 10 uh, processor I would say and has got all what you need for your productivity or gaming experience. So let's keep it aside and talk about the other as well. This is 11700K, it has also got 8 core and 16 thread and it does better compared to 5800X in some point. But I would say this is very close to 5800X. And now comes 12700K. This has got performance core and efficient core. This is gonna be a really, really interesting video as this performs very, very good in Premiere Pro, uh, Photoshop or any productivity work. If in case you are into some productivity where you create content, I think this is the one you should get. Yes, it does beat a Ryzen 9 5900X in some benchmark, even Premiere Pro this is faster 40% compared to 5800X. Yes, 40%, which is a lot. Now the question comes, if you buy 12700K, you may end up spending more and the budget won't allow you because the motherboard are expensive, DDR5 RAMs are expensive. Wait a minute. You don't have to go with Z690 motherboards because most of the customers don't overclock their PC. Out of 100 customer, there is only a 1% chance people will overclock in Indian market. As we build PCs and ship all over India, uh, we get a result that people are not really interested in overclocking. However, they wanted the best of the best CPU. So this one at stock even works better. So what you can do, you can go ahead and get a B660 motherboard and pair DDR4 RAM. DDR5 RAM are way too expensive. If in case you go ahead and check out the RAM prices, it's over 30,000 rupees for uh, 32 gigs of memory. Uh, you can go with DDR4, I would say. 3600 megahertz will work fine. You can put 16 GB and pretty much do anything. And if you need, you can put 32 GB as well. So in my point of view, this build can be made at a similar budget of what you have to spend on 11700K or even 5800X. So the budget is not an issue here. The Z690 motherboard, definitely you can purchase, you can add DDR5 RAM, that's up to you if you have a good budget. Will the DDR4 RAM and DDR5 RAM will make a difference? No, not at all. There are some difference in few softwares and few games, but the difference is not huge as of now, what I have seen. So making it very easy to understand, not going technical, 12700K performs better in Premiere Pro, better than Ryzen 9 5900X, better in Photoshop. Of course, the gaming benchmark is better compared to 5800X and compared to 11700K. Now coming to the pricing. The pricing, if you talk about, this comes around 30, 39,000, 12700K. But there is a version which is 12, 700 kf anyways you will be putting a graphic card so go with the kf version pretty much everything is same and you can put a graphic card and get the 12 700 kf and that would cost you less that is around 34,000, 35,000. if the prices goes down in future that's great i'm talking about today's pricing i'll share all the links in the description box both amazon and our website so you can go ahead and check the real time price if in case you are watching in future so the only thing i would like to convey to you uh, consider 12700k people really don't choose 12700k keeping in mind the ddr5 motherboard will be expensive and they have to put ddr5 for ram and that would be way too expensive and that budget they can get ryzen 9 build so please understand even ddr4 rams work very good go with a b660 motherboard which has uh, a decent motherboard i would say would come around 16 17000 maybe orus or maybe tough they are quite good and uh, as you're not going to overclock it so yes you can definitely go with b660 
if you have a budget and you want to overclock then z690 is what you should get also ddr5 will make sense at that point of time so this is what i have a quick video about 12700k by the way i have built almost 27 uh, pcs using 12700k and most of them are using b660 motherboards and people are happy so yeah this is what we have done so far and I, and I request you to check some other benchmark also you'll be very happy with the performance it really really performs well consider this processor and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sure you will not be disappointed what you get with this processor so that was a quick video about 12700k and other two processors I have not gone very technical because I want to make it simple and easy because most of the customer doesn't want to go with the really in-depth technical information they only wanted to know what is good and this is really really good you will not be disappointed and uh, thank you for watching till the end do subscribe as it really motivates me to make some more videos for you and i'll catch you in the next one stay happy and stay blessed Bye bye